Hello and welcome to Hadoop Tutorials at Learning Journal. In the earlier videos, we solved three different types of problems using MapReduce method. In this session, we will further look into the following requirement. In this example, we want to transform our CSV file into a JSON file. So, the first thing that you may need is a JSON library package. I am using simple JSON. So, I import this package in my source code and add a new dependency to my build file. With these two changes, I will be able to create a JSON object. Let's see what we are doing in the map function. We read each record and split it over the comma as we are doing in the earlier examples. Then we convert the record into a JSON object. Finally, we write the JSON to the context. You should have noticed two things about this example. We don't need to summarize or aggregate anything. So, we should not implement a reduce function and set the number of reduce tasks to zero. In a case of no reduce function, the framework will write the map output to an HDFS file and we will get our JSON file. Simple. So, this is an example where we don't have a reduce part and we achieve our objective using a map only job. The second unique thing about this case is that we don't need a key. In fact, using some key will be incorrect because the key is also written to the output file. If you compile this program and try to execute it like earlier examples, you should get an error message. Class not found. We used JSON object and that's an external package. We need to make that jar available to the MapReduce framework. We are able to compile the code because we added the dependency in SBT build file. So, SBT will download it from Maven Central and compile our code. But MapReduce framework doesn't have it in the Hadoop class path. There are many ways to provide your custom jar files to MapReduce framework. But the most convenient and recommended method is to use tool runner. The tool runner allows you to pass some additional command line options to your MapReduce programs. These other options are called generic options. Here is a list of all available generic options. We will be using minus lib jars to provide our simple JSON package. Okay, the next question is how to use tool runner? That's simple. We have to implement tool interface and make some changes in our main method. If you remember from the earlier examples, we had all this code in the main method. When we implement the tool runner, we move the code to run method. You should notice one more difference. Instead of creating a new configuration object, we call getConf to get the object used by the tool. Rest is simple. We just call the run method from the main method. That's it. Now it's time to execute your map only program. We are using minus libjars option to specify additional jar file. The tool runner will parse this option and copy the supplied jar file into the class path of each data node. You might be wondering where did I get the jar for simple JSON? That's easy. Because SBT has already downloaded it for me and kept it into SBT cache. You can find it in your home directory iv2 hidden folder. Okay. So we have learned the most important basics of MapReduce framework and also seen some examples. These examples are good enough to give you a basic understanding of MapReduce programming technique. 
The MapReduce framework offers a lot many other features. The most popular ones are listed here. There are many other features and concepts to learn if you wanted to solve problems using MapReduce framework. But we will leave all of those things because we won't be using them in our day-to-day -day work. I have already covered the most basic and bare minimum things. So we stop MapReduce at this stage. In the next video, we will progress into other critical areas of Hadoop. Thank you very much for watching Learning Journal. Keep learning and keep growing.